today with the uh, Work Pro Born Enterprise Integration webinar. I want to cover a few things. Um, the next one. So I want to go through today the Work Pro iframe, how that works in, in the Bullhorn instance, and, and what you and the features and functionality of that. Uh, we'll touch on the credentials tab and the credentialing and how that works. And then lastly, we'll go on to the, uh, the advanced credential search capability um, inside the slide uh, So if we jump to a moment. So here is your, your, your bullhorn environment. Uh, and, then, and this is your candidate list here. Um, click on your candidate, which is here. And this will bring up your candidate summary page. Um, here, here's your work pro tab, which is here. Okay. So in here, you, you've got the full, the full work pro iframe. Um, here's a, a overview summary of the candidate, what they've sat. But your background checks, which is broken down into here. Yeah, inductions and your e learning, licensing ticket, and then your, your document management here. Okay. Um, you, you also got so in here as well. You can see you can still go in and see the check, see the results of the check as well. Yeah, so you, you can see it. Yeah, you set as you can work pro. You can do the same to your inductions and your licensing ticket as well. So this is here, and this is the same full functionality of what you've got if you need to use um, the work by standalone platform, not inside the one. Here you can send another request out to the candidate if they've got a um, new task that needs them to complete. Um, the one enterprise integration work differs from the original one is there's a couple of reasons we started adding certifications to it. So what that mean is is the bullhorn data, also the work pro data, will now stay native inside the bullhorn platform. So every time that a candidate completes a work pro task, it will come here. And then what it will also do is it will also map to the certifications tab, which is here. Okay. So here you've got all the work pro services completed by this candidate. Um, it is your credential name here, your requirement type. If there's any expiration date, it sits here as well. And the status of it as well. Um, and you can also use the binoculars tab for a quick view, overview of the uh, credential. So you jump in here to work project. You can see you've got your detailed information here about the check. And you've also got a URL pop out to be able to view the certification as well. Okay. Same with your um, same with your licensing ticket as well, your driver's license. You can bring out the menu. Here, it's got the details of the driver's license. You can also view a photo of, the, of their license. This is not my license, as you can guess. Um, and you can also view the front and the back of the document as well. Okay. So th this is this is the, the upgrade for, to the V2. It's now in the certifications. What works really well, and a lot of our clients really like about this integration as well, is, is the advanced credential searching. Now that now that all the work pro services now map to uh, a certification. You can now use these to search uh, for candidates for upcoming roles. Okay, I'll show you what I mean by this. So if you go back to your candidate tab, you can now create searches um, and put your work pro credentials against those searches. So, so I've got one here already. Favorites webinar. Cool. So now in my search uh, parameters, I can now add work pro requirements. So Everyone that so my job requirement is everyone needs to have a work rights check and everyone needs to have set work pro module 36 working from home. Everyone in my bullhorn instance that has these two certifications when I search for them will come up here. And what this will allow your consultants to do is uh, create multiple searches and then just build talent pools. So for your, so your regular place, placing high volume roles. Once the email is passed into Bullhorn, and once the request is, is kind of sent out and completed by the candidate, these candidates will all sit here 
Um, so it will allow you, yeah, it will allow you consultants to kind of hopefully reuse the candidates more and be able to access their different data pools really quickly. And they can save as many searches as they want here, so they can access the candidates really quickly. Okay, um, so there's, that's the Bullhorn Enterprise Integration. Just in summary, Work Pro tab still there in, in its fullest. All the capabilities still exist. You can still view the checks and you can still verify the inductions as well down here. So it's going to verify your inductions. Um, now what happens is the data stays natively in the platform. So that everything goes through the certifications and sits here. Again, you've got your quick menu look with your uh, in detail here and your URL. And also as well, the extra added bonus of the integration is now you can put work pro credentials uh, into your searches. Like I said, build talent pools for your most placed roles and access your candidates quicker and hopefully reuse them more rather than searching for new candidates. Um, does anyone have any questions? If you can, you can take yourself off mute and I'm happy to answer them. No? Cool. All right, awesome. Well, look, that concludes our uh, our webinar today. Like I said, you'll be able to jump onto the WorkPro platform and find a recording of this for future reference. And if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you've got the support line at WorkPro or my email address, which is thep at workpro.com.au. So T H E A P H Y at workpro.com.au. Um, thanks for hanging out, and we'll talk soon. Cheers.